Alyssa Pajoli, Life Leadership Connection Coach. I'm super excited you're here because today we're going to be going over really distinguishing the four things that drive you. If we are unaware of knowing what drives us or motivates us, it really puts us in a space where we're like chasing life and we're in that lower level of consciousness of like, life is happening to me. And so we want to make sure that we're doing the self-discovery and conducting audits to learn what drives you, to learn what drives us. And the way to do that is really we fall into four categories, um, advancement, madness, individuality and purpose. So if you don't have a piece of paper or a pen, stop this video, get it and write down, I'm gonna give you things within each category so that you can look at this and have a bird's eye view. But when it comes to advancement, that is your next promotion, completing a task, meeting a deadline, reaching a goal as a team, those are advancements. When it comes to madness, opposition, competition, control, power and fame, proving others wrong, the need to avoid embarrassment, mastery, and the desire to be the best, to break records. That's the madness category. When it comes to individuality, it's lifestyle, recognition, security and or purpose. This is the fourth one. Your history, helping others, change, impact, enlightenment and self-actualization. If you want, you can buy the book, Your Next Five Moves by Patrick Bett David. And on page 30, he provides a nice little chart here too um, that you could absolutely look at but something he says is it's normal to have more than one motivation. It's also normal for your priorities to shift. Take a careful look at the list above and think about how long and hard about what drives you. This is a very important part, so hopefully you're still with me. Most of the time, it requires some catalyst to examine what motivates you. And there are four main triggers that create that, that clarity or that opportunity. Boredom is the first one. Declining results is the second one. A plateau or stagnancy. Or if number four is the feeling that your talent is declining. So it's also important to just kind of take a step back and give yourself some grace in this process because as an introvert, I'm always thinking. I'm always wanting to like dive in, analyze, move, shift, shake. But if you're not aware or like coming to the terms of like, yeah, what does drive me or what does motivate me? It may take a bit. It may take a bit if you're not bored, feeling like your talents are declining, feeling stagnant. Like there is that component that usually is the shift for us to move or want to create change. So I just wanted to point that out because sometimes people are like, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And it's like becoming an inquirer of thyself takes practice. Um, so four things that motivate you. Sorry, my pup's in the background. What are the, there are four. Advancement, madness, individuality, and purpose. And then also understanding within those what drives you, but what are the catalysts that's going to create the change? And are you experiencing it? So I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Ciao.